first one is to express our deepest condolences to the family and particularly to the parents because this is not what they bargained for and this is not something that any parent would expect it's unfortunate and we pray that this thing never happens again but we need to see how best we can put in place some kind of correctional measures so that these things will not happen and to enable us to put the correctional measures in place we need to know what the teachers do in the schools teachers do three main things teachers are to train the knowledge or to train the, the students the head aspect which we call the cognitive train that aspect impact them with knowledge that is one the second thing that teachers do is what we call the psychomotor aspect we don't only give you give them knowledge but you give them skills ability to perform is what teachers also do is part of our work the third thing that we do as professionals is what we call the affective the affective domain that one we train character and conscience and that has to do with the value system we want the child to leave the school with that when the child leaves the school wherever the child finds him or herself the child will be loyal the child will be patriotic the child will speak the truth the child will be committed to national cause the child will respect our national anthem the child will respect the pledge the child will respect our constitution and all the rules that our fathers have left behind for us but where we are now is that today we are doing the knowledge aspect we are doing the skills aspect but we have lost the character the conscience and the value system aspect we have lost it entirely there's a lot of discipline in we schools we have lost it entirely moral decay we have lost it entirely and the confidence level of the students now can best be described using the level of galamse in the country now if you want to describe the behavior of students now in our schools eh, the best example that we can give we can we, we can only use the behavior of those engaging in galamse because how on earth can somebody go and stand in the middle of uh, whether river pra and all that is digging gold is this in river pra is the spirit is it not the water when the police people have told us that they protect life and property mm -hmm. I don't know whether the, the river pride didn't sue and they are part of the property they are to protect. So, so, so Thomas, so, what's the way forward? What is your call for action here? So what we are saying here is that what we, to the extent that we have lost the affective domain, which has to do with the character, conscience, and the value system, which has to do with the training of our people, we need to organize a stakeholder meeting. And this must be done now. Time is not on our side. Time is not on our side. Look, it is dangerous to train somebody, impact him with knowledge, impact him with skills, and the person doesn't have any value. Mm. Or the person doesn't have any character. You are in for trouble. Our constitution that we have will be just a matter of time. Okay? And all of the pledge, the national anthem, and all those things will not mean anything to somebody who has no character, the person who has no conscience, the person who has no any value, values or anything, it, it, that would not mean anything to the person who has that as an organization. What we are saying is that given the levels of conf confidence of the students, some of them, a number of them, of course, and the kind of things. Look, let me, I was just telling your, 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 your friends, when I was in school, the highest offense you hear a student has committed is chewing gum. And they will ask, who did this? The other one is coming to school late and they will write your name. And the other one is that when you are in classroom, you talk. So they write the names of talkatives. Eh? When you talk too much, they will add DP, meaning double punishment. On Mondays, they will check your fingernails. They will check your hair and you will come and pull your dress and see whether you wash your school uniform. Those are the things we are looking at when we were in elementary school. Today, when the students are coming, they come with their parents' mobile phones. Some of them even come with weapons. 
That is where we've got into. So a stakeholder meeting to address in discipline in school. Are you calling for um, what we call the corporal punishment to be brought back, something Please. of the sort? You see, but we have a concern here. When we are talking about the effective domain, it is not about corporal punishment. We are saying that how can we instill discipline in our people? Look, when you travel outside Ghana, when you travel outside the country, why is it that somebody will not be tempted to do, a, do wrong things? The, thing, the kind of things we do here, when we travel outside, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. We mention Singapore, yeah. we mention other areas.